With the holiday shopping season in full swing, thieves are busy finding new ways to rip you off. And now they've figured out how to swipe your credit card information just by walking past you. I kid you not. Joining us now is Walt Augustinowitz. He is the founder and COO of Identity Stronghold LLC. Thank you for being with us. You are going to demonstrate right now how exactly a criminal can steal your credit card just by walking past you. Absolutely. What we've done is we put everything you need in this one little portal. It looks like I got an iPad walking mm -hmm. around with. And all I have to do is walk by someone's wallet like that, and it read the card, credit card number in it, and I have the Look entire the credit card here. information. Everything I need, I can actually take that, hit my clone button, and put all that information on a MagStripe card, and then walk in and pay. We've actually done it with several different types of accounts. So they walk by you, they swipe your credit card information, mm -hmm. they make a clone credit card, they charge stuff, you mm -hmm. get the bill. Absolutely. Unbelievable. So this is only for uh, cards with a radio frequency ID chip in them. Right. How do you know whether or not your cards have that? Well, it's, it's called RFID. There is a little symbol uh, that you'll see on a lot of them. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, there's no, it's not necessarily on every card that uh -huh. has the chip in it. But by having one of those cards, I, right now we, we sc we've scanned people, told them we're scanning them about... 30 to 40 percent of everybody we've talked to has at least one of these cards already. There's 100 million in circulation already. And the newer ones especially, including even mm -hmm. your passport and a lot of these transit system cards? Right. Yeah, all the you know, almost every subway system in the country now has an RFID type card that you could clone, um, you know, that kind of thing, and people could steal your fare. Um, it's happened overseas in the uh, Netherlands and stuff. All right, so how do you cards. protect against it? So basically, we, we make um, shielded wallets like this here or shielded sleeves by simply keeping your card in one of our sleeves and putting it back in your wallet, you cannot read it. We have a, a, a radio shielding material in here and a radio shielding material in our wallets. Mm -hmm. And we even have uh, badge holders because a lot of people have those new ID cards with those as well. And we sell a, a lot of those in the federal government as well. You could also use tin foil, but it uh, rips up in your wallet. Right, and, uh, it's uh, not quite as sexy when you right. pull out the tin foil and start tearing it and, you know, to get your card out, but it does work. I right. will say that it, it is something that does work. But if they want your little sleeve, uh, website yeah. quickly. Yeah, idstronghold.com. You can right. go there and get all of our products. Uh, but it's something people need to know is a danger out there. I, I have an identity theft mm -hmm. victim. I will be getting a bunch of these. I'll probably put them in everybody's stockings for Christmas. Walt Augustinowitz, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.